I know this one's already uh, been out there for a while and and been completely debunked, but it's just it it things have a second, third, fourth life on social media. They keep going around, so it's like whack a mole. We have to keep knocking them down. When you see claims like this, this is more about what to do when you see a claim like this. Don't just believe it and don't take it at face value. There's obviously a lot of mistakes and misinformation and outright lies and nonsense on on social media, including TikTok. So it doesn't take long to do a quick Google sh Google search or whatever to try to see if there's any plausibility even here. Um, so first of all, one, one good sort of red flag test is if NASA found evidence of an alien civilization on a planet 6.7 light years away, that would have been massive news. You would not be hearing about it on a TikTok video. Right, that would be all over the news. It would be the, the news story of the millennium. So right there, you should be extremely suspicious. So if we dig into a little bit, you find out, uh, first of all, it never happened. This is a lie. I don't know where this guy's even getting this information. There isn't even a star 6.7 light years from Earth. So I'm not even sure what star that would correspond with. There are ones on like 5.7, 7 point whatever, like on either side of it, but that not exactly 6.7 light years. So I'm not even sure what star they're referring to. If you look up the name of that that is given in terms of the Kepler, it doesn't correspond with anything either. Um, so the right there, things don't check out. So then you have to ask the question, could we, could, does NASA have the technology to see city lights on an exoplanet? And the answer there is pretty clearly no. Uh, for example, if you looked at, say, the Earth, right, the, the night side of the Earth over Europe, the United States, a lot of lights, right? I'm sure you've seen pictures. If you were looking at the Earth from six, seven, eight light years away, you couldn't see it. You wouldn't see those lights. Um, there, it's insignificant, basically, the amount of lights that would be produced by technology, by civilization, is just negligible when looked at from light years away. And we certainly don't have the technology to, to see alien you know, exoplanet city lights. So it's just not true. There was a paper that was basically addressing that question. What's the plausibility? If could you know, Kepler or could the, the James Webb telescope see a city you know, uh, lit, lit up at night on, a, on an alien planet. At most, you might see a tiny light fluctuation. We, we don't, it's not like we could image the surface of the planet in any detail. We can't, it's a point, you know. All you could say is how much light is coming from that planet. But then you don't know how much light is supposed to be coming from that planet in terms of its reflectivity and, and other variables. So the, slight that there, the fact that there might be a teeny tiny bit extra light coming from a planet because of city lights, is, we, wouldn't, we would have no way of knowing that. Uh, so this claim is really nonsense from beginning to end, but it's a good representation of the kind of nonsense that's out there and how you can detect it and why you shouldn't believe it. If it seems really extraordinary, you know, you basically on that, for that reason alone, you shouldn't believe it. And it's pretty easy to figure, to search for additional information to figure out that, yeah, this is just not true.